Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are going to be taking a good look at Sampler. So Sampler uh, has been around a, a long, long time and it's only just been recently updated. In fact, it was updated on the 3rd of April 2023, so not long ago and it, just, it was to fix an issue, but it's still been looked after. In fact, I think the developer uh, actually works for Apple and I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he, he must have had something to do with sam Sample Alchemy. Uh, which is part of logic. Right, okay, because there are some similarities between this and that. All right, so it's a marvellous thing. You can play six uh, different uh, loops here in Sampler and manipulate them in various different ways. It has lots of different play modes here, lots of different play modes. You have a, a slicer mode, a looper mode, a bow mode, a tape and scratch mode, arpeggiator, keyboard mode, and straightforward loop mode. Okay, so you can do some great things. We're going to take a quick listen to this project, and then we're going to build a completely new project so you can see and learn exactly how it works, because it's still great in 2023. Now, I will also say that it was first released way back in on November the 2nd, 2012. 2012, it's been around that long and is much loved. So many of you will probably already have it, but may not have used it for a while. And some of you may not even know about it and would like to dig in. It's £19.99p or $19.99 on the App Store. In my opinion, it's honestly, it's worth it. I actually bought this because it was back in the day when, you know, I, I was buying apps as well, obviously. So I'm going to play around with sample. So I have this project and I'm going to explain a little about the best way you can get uh, your, you know, I'm going to show you how to do everything, but the best samples that kind of work. Sample are like shortish, shortish, 8, 16 bars, stuff like that samples, but you can load in longer samples. This down the bottom here, if I'm going to press on this, you'll see, you'll notice at the far end here, this part here, there's a, a square button. At the moment, everything is playing. That is global start and stop. Uh, but all of these playheads, as you will see here, are actually not playing. They're all they're all waiting to be triggered. So what I'm going to do is what we're to do we to, to start off a loop to start, and you'll notice you'll see the different engines that are being used in each part of this project. Okay, so. Um, I'll explain all this in a sec, but I'm going to play this for you. So I'm going to hold this. And when you, whilst you're holding this down, you press on any of these here to start it off. So for example, okay. So if we go to it now and we click on this, this is in slice mode. This first one here is like a compressor. This is bow mode, well no, this is loop mode, so it loop between any two points you choose, so. And we can increase or decrease. But I'm gonna have to start it off. This is tape mode, bow. Arpeggiate, keyboard, and this will just play the loop. This is random slice selection. This is hold. This 
message was playing forward, loop. We can reverse it. Slice mode for these strings. This is your envelope. So release. So if I switch some of the others off. That's release. That's hack. Volume. And random. Unlock. But we could just go to this mode here, which is tape, and if we touch. multi-touch and if we like that if we hit this little button here which is the infinity icon it will hold and you can set a hold like three times delete the last hold which is this one and then delete these two holds this will play forward but we must make sure it is actually playing. We don't need to worry about it if it's in slice mode. So you get the idea, what we're gonna, like I said, some ambience and at any time like I said you can just swap between different play modes but I like tape mode for this one You can also record gestures, but I'll show you that in another one, in another project. So that's all of them playing together. So if we look at this one, This is, if I just play the loop. This is the arpeggio and I can go up to and you'll see I've got infinite infinity on because I've held these notes so I don't have to touch the screen. We also see underneath I can you can also go up and down up and down in semitones. This is the arpeggiated shape. Like random. Just how I played it in. And then you can play it like a keyboard. So if you put in a sample, 
sounds good played on a keyboard, then you're good to go. I could put some more gestures in here. I could take out the ones I put in and then put some more in. Or just play the loop any way I like. I could use bow. Hold that gesture. But I like tape. I can adjust any record, any held gesture. So if we take those gestures off a second, let's stop that as well. So look, at this, this one here. With the gestures, I can put as many fingers on the screen as I can get on. Like I said, I can hold them, but I can also record the movements of those gestures. So if I switch my metronome on and I press record just after, so I'll just stop that again. I'm going to delete that recording. can record for quite a long time as well. Stop when you're done and it'll just follow those movements for you. I can record three times as well, so I'll stop that and I'm just going to switch the metronome off. I'm going to hold these gestures. Okay. I've got this playing randomly through the pattern of drums. This here is like a filter. This is like a... And I can leave that there. This is delay. This is reverb. stop is here and that will stop everything and I am actually gonna just turn all those off as well okay so here's where we manage our projects so this is called pedal in paradise I won't save it because the project as it was was fine and I've messed around with it a bit now so if I go back to this this will be what why I originally had and it will just be the start off So, global stop. Right, okay, let's create a brand new project. So we go back to here to our project place. And I'm going to hit save because save that now. I'm just going to hit new and it will provide us with a completely blank, empty set of six sample slots that we can now populate. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to select sample slot one. I'm going to go to this now. This little file icon is for each separate 
slot okay where it's this s at the top is global this is for each separate slot so we click on this and i'm just going to go import from audio share because that's where i have all my samples audio share and you'll see i've created two folders one called sampler one and one called sampler two 110 bpm you can change the tempo in sampler it doesn't matter it will time stretch and warp whatever you put in there um sampler one here has four samples that i recorded in cubasis and in sampler two it has six samples that i also recorded in cubasis so i'm going to use this for a project and i'm also going to create a project with this one simple this one from synthmaster 2 i'm just going to import that into the app I'm going to select slot two. Now, I would suggest that you have them normalized. Then you've got more control with this. But don't forget, you also have your like compressor sort of thing. I'm going to choose second sample slot now. Go import from Dropbox. And again, I'm just going, not Dropbox, sorry, uh, sorry guys. Import from this. I'm going to select this one, which goes, that's quite loud. So we're going to turn that down. Oh, I need to, sorry. I'll need to do that from the app or it's easier from the app. So here, here, import from audio share. And I'm just going to go import into slot. Now you'll see it's really loud. So straight away, I'm just going to turn that down. It's a bit hot actually. So I'm going to turn it down quite low to start with. Sample slot three now. Um, import from audio share. And I'll just go this number three. And we'll just quickly do this. We'll go this go here and import from audio share import and last slot oops, sorry last slot for this project um, import from audio share will be this one i made in factory synth import into app now this is where it gets fun you can now choose any of these slots so they all default to start on on, on slicer so we need to press global play and if we turn the release up sorry <coughs> it'll bring that a bit longer or we can and like i said if we go on to this one now which is loop any two points we touch The loop so I'll quickly show you I'll hold those two points now and this is ping pong not sure what this one does and we can Reverse the points. Clear the infinity hold. This is where you can add in slice points or take slice points away. So we could say maybe take some of these. Or add them back in this is bow and this this here is the width of the bow so fine granular This is one of my favorites. Again, you know it's tape. I'll just hold these because this also has a very cool scratch mode. So switch scratch mode on. Switch this on and it maintains the pitch.
arpeggiate and it will remember the arpeggiator point. Well, that's cool. All that as well. Okay, let's leave that on that. Let's turn it down a little bit and listen to something. In fact, let's stop it. So just press this and stop. Let's go to our second one now and just press play. And we got global stop started. Yes, yeah, so play is started on. Let's just play this loop, shall we? So we'll start again. So this is just playing through. We can reverse it, sounds quite nice. this one let's press play let's have this on uh, let's have this one with the tape Very strange one, this. Playing reverse. Now, I think. Recording all this now, see? And I, I can record three different sets of gestures over the course of the project. Let's save it at that so that when we come back to the project, if you ever come back to your project, it's not all going to just stop playing straight away because it will if it doesn't remember the settings that you've told it to remember. Right. Okay. So cool. So 
let's save this project shall we let's go into the main project menu here and go save as and call the, oh i don't know what would you what would i even, what would you even what would you even call that um we'll call it strange times yeah let's call it strange times okay so now if we go back to our projects here uh we've got our strange times pedal in paradise i've got one called Me meaty center i you see these are all the projects that i've made but there are some if you go into demo projects there are a bunch of uh demo projects that you can use and you can grab samples from in here as well there's some demo samples that you can use but i'm going to create another new project now so we're going to go new so you just, just to, so you can get an idea of how easy it is to use sampler so again i'm going to this time i set my tempo to i think it was 110 i'm i'll also speed this up uh during the course for just to show you that tempo doesn't really matter inside sampler so first of all we'll select the slot we want slot one here and then just go import from audio here and this time we can go back out of there and go into sampler two now this has six slots we can use and i recorded this like i said in cubase as you can see i used some percussion uh one of the drum machines some tdx 85 comp classic and import into app so there it goes in there straight away and before we play any of them let's import them all shall we so number two import in and the tip here is that if you want to make something a little bit more constructive and melodic as as is nice to do sometimes um a way to do it is build up a track just like you would if you were making loop mix projects build up a track maybe two bars or eight bars or what have you i think these are all four bars but build up the track in cubasis or whatever you like and then all you need to do is import them in and even if you play them normal they should sound okay and then you can start to manipulate the samples with all the different play playing heads and ways to play the sample and all sorts of cool stuff all right let's get this one in number five okay important app and last but not least we shall do number six here import modio share number six which is percussion important to app now what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to set every single one of these just to play as a normal loop so you can do that in sample it's not a lot of point because you could do that in any door couldn't you sample is great for manipulating however i wanted to show you how cool it sounds so we'll hold this and i'll just start this first one off okay let's how good the reverb is that's really nice now you can like i said you can load the same sample into every slot if you want to okay let's start this next one off shall we Playing backwards, I'll play it forwards. Let's turn that down for a moment. Let's play our next one. Bass going now. Let's play this fourth one. Sounded quite nice, you first. So we're going to our next one here. It's playing the right direction, so let's just play it. Last one, okay. Okay, 
Let's put this on to an R. It's going to sound pretty much the same. Let's hold it with our infinity. Let's try this. Using the tape and back to R. Okay, let's look at R. Let's take the release down. Take it up an octave, shall we? Drums in loop mode. Random. Probably better in normal for the drums. So this is an arpeggio mode, but if we go back to our, it's going to reverse. Let's do this. Jump to arpeggio mode. Keyboard mode.
Awesome. random slices as well. Guys, there you go. Uh, there's how you manipulate stuff and sample. It's really easy. Once you start, it looks a lot going on, but really, once you know what each one of the playheads do and you, you get them going forward, it's really easy to get going. Don't forget that these are your global controls. So the end here, this is global stop and start. So if this isn't, if this is like, if this is, well, not on that screen, if we hit this, this is, means that we need to start it globally for it to work so 
So before I go, I'm going to play you some more projects that I did, um, and you can have a listen to them as well. If you watched this during the premiere, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, bless you all. Sample uh, is still absolutely brilliant. Like I said, it was only updated a few months ago, so it's not an abandoned app or anything like that. It is. It's not interap audio. It's not an AUV three. Sorry, it is interap audio. It's just marvelous. I, I love sample. I, I've maybe done five or six sampler tutorials over the last ten years. And it, it always gives me a great amount of pleasure to manipulate the samples and play with different things. But like I said, uh, I can actually show you. If we go into Cubasis here, we'll come up with a open recent. Oh, no, it's not that one. Let me go to media. Bay here. See if I can find it. I think I actually called it sample, sample, sample. There's two of these, but I can't remember which is the other one. I'll just double tap it and load it in. And I think, let's just expand this a little bit and go back. Bosh. Yeah, this is the actual. Uh, you just recognize that that's the one we've just been messing around with in Sampler and getting stuff in. I love audio share as well. Maybe I'm old school. I don't know. The files app's good, but you can't drag and drop into samplers. So audio share is marvelous for me. I've got everything organized in there properly into folders into, you know, I just like the way it works. Plus I can do a little bit of basic editing in there and things like that. And I can get it out to other apps and import it into other apps and stuff. So audio, audio share for me is, is fantastic. I'm going to go into the main folder here open up projects now this you see this here i'm going to this track is if i just play the track a little bit here, is a track that joe recorded with guitar ever it's all joe i'll go But I put this into making it, and it's just marvellous. And it's just one track in the project. With one set of holes for the tape. Others in. That's that project. Let's listen to a, another, maybe. This utilizes some of Daniel's. What's this one? Keyboard. Let's put this into. It's playing backwards. Oh, going with you. Going with you. 
If you coded the movement out. That's me. So here's another new one, which is called Meaty Center. I think I did this one a couple of days ago. Okay, and what's this one? Oh, we just done Strange Times, didn't we? Uh, what did we do? Strange Times and... Oh... Did I even save the last... I don't think I saved it. <laughs> I don't think I saved it, did I? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, Loaded Dread is another good one. I'd say the other one. And this is the first one we played around with, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Guys, there you go. Sampler 2023. Still brilliant. Still one of my favourite apps. <coughs> and I think as long as it's always going to be... But you're all right there, Joe. As long as it's always going to be supported, I think, I think it's always going to be one of my favourites. But like I said, it was only updated a few months ago, so I don't think it's going anywhere. If you enjoyed the video, like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, uh, and or consider becoming a patron. Thank you very, very, very much, and I will see you later. Ta-da!